Have you been so intimidated in learning a 3D software like Unreal Engine, you just keep procrastinating? That was me for the longest time. I had deep understanding in Cinema 4D, and I was debating if I should switch to Unreal Engine. The amount of time that I spent debating it, I could have learned it already. I try to watch those 5 hour tutorials, I try to enroll in in real life camps and online courses, but I couldn't complete any of them. But then, after one realization that I made, I finally started learning. And over the years, I progressed so fast that I'm able to complete all those projects. And the thing that I realized is that it's not about passion or discipline. It's about the way that I approached learning. You don't need to commit to a five hour tutorial on YouTube. You don't need a hundred hour course. What you need is to learn the absolute essential in completing only one project of your choice. So it's the same thing as the video that you're watching right now. I don't have an intro. I don't have any B-rolls, but this video is still out there. It's finished. If we were to approach learning a new software the same way, it won't be as overwhelming. And if I were to start over this whole learning process, here is how I would approach it. First thing is to gather your reference. The thing is you have to organize the reference in either Figma or Pure Ref. I, I recommend using Pure Ref because it's less intensive on your internet and also less intensive on your computer. You find something that seems manageable to recreate. Let's say I want to create a scene like the game Black Myth. With our screenshot, we're going to be feed it into ChatGPT and we're going to ask how to create this scene in Unreal Engine. The step can be skipped, skip it, and we're kit bashing assets. And right away, you have an outline your own outline and then you just have to use your critical thinking to further identify what's essential so the first thing is landscape either create a flat or slightly uneven terrain well we're going to be creating a flat one because from our reference it doesn't seem like we need anything that's uneven and then it says place foliage assets well where can we find the foliage oh wow i actually recommend mega scan that's great all you need to worry about is this it's a short tutorial to figure out how to paint the foliage and after we paint the foliage it goes to lighting. If you don't want to click a million tutorials to find the right one, by the way, you can sub to my Patreon for those technical tutorials. I teach you exactly how to light and the essential steps only. So for the props, we're either going to be using Sketchfab, TurboSquid, or CG Trader. If you can find it, the best way is still using Unreal Engine's Marketplace Fab. And after you placed everything, and you just have to figure out how to render. And congratulations, after six, seven steps, you successfully completed your first project. And now you just have to repeat this process a few more projects later, you're not only gonna be building up your confidence, you're also learning how to be more adaptable. If you find this video helpful, make sure you check out my Patreon because I not only will be uploading those beginner tutorials and I'm also preparing a cheat sheet for my Patreon members where you'll find all the tools and plugins that you might need to speed up your workflow.